Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all of the subscribers, viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Scorpio's private eye reading for the month of January. In this message, we're first going to do a you versus them spread to tap into the energy around what's challenging the situation. Then we are going to take another deck and dig a little bit deeper into your person's intentions, how they're feeling about the situation, how they're feeling about you at this time, what will their next steps be moving forward, and then any advice, guidance from spirit moving forward. We will clarify as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Scorpio, what we can see for you guys for January 2021, completion of a cycle. Let's see if it comes back out here for you guys. The world card represents that maturity phase, that time in your life where you start feeling more balanced, um, gaining a broader understanding feeling more mature about a situation okay a lot of you may have gained a different perspective when it comes to a certain situation in your life ten of wands this tells me scorpio that something's weighing heavy on your mind okay something's heavy um in your life okay now, for some of you, this is going to be an internal conflict depend on which path you should choose. Um, for some of you, this is going to be actual competition, people competing for your time, attention, energy, whether it's a, a job or personal. So let's take a little bit deeper look here, Scorpio. Please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions to the readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And Scorpio, if you like the vibe or how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. decisions decisions and we're going to clarify all of this here in a minute here scorpio but i feel i feel as if what's weighing heavy on your mind is you have a, a very difficult decision here to make i feel like you are at a crossroad there is a fork in this road there's two paths you have to make one choose one direction or the other for some of you, this is going to be in career, okay? For others of you, this may be in relationship. Your person here is looking very stable, very secure, moving forward very swiftly, very quickly. They could also be traveling, traveling into your area, traveling to see you. Maybe even for some of you, they could be moving back into your area or moving closer to you. So let's clarify this, Scorpio, for January 2021. Please clarify the Seven of Wands, the Two of Pentacles for Scorpio's energy, please, and thank you. Page of Pentacles. The Moon. I feel like for a lot of you, this is going to be work related. Okay. And what I see this as is maybe there's a new opportunity that's coming your way. That's being presented to you. That's brand new, fresh out of the box. And you're having to choose between something that you've always done or something that is new to you. 
okay and this may be a difficult decision for you to decide because sometimes it's hard to teach an old dog new tricks chariot ton of pentacles i feel like there is no need to stress no need to worry everything is going to align as it needs to align everything's going to be taken care of the person who is being channeled here now this could be a romantic connection this could also just be a friend family member co-worker a boss i feel like this is a very stable solid connection here they're offering stability okay um now if this is resonating as a job offer career boss type scenario i feel like this is a very positive direction okay what I do see here is if you do accept this offer, if you do choose this path, you are going to be leaving the sense of feeling at loss, of feeling burdened behind, okay? But sometimes we get comfortable in this position and it sounds funny, but a lot of times this is subconsciously self-sabotaging our own success. I do, however, feel if you are able to accept this offer to solidly choose this path and productively move forward, Scorpio, you're going to find yourself sitting pretty. To me, this is leaving all the negative energy behind and moving into calmer waters, okay? Um, not having to deal with that lack anymore. But what I see here, Scorpio, is you may be having a hard time trusting that, okay? Now, even if this is feeling new, even if you don't see the path forward, you are being called to trust. So let's clarify Five of Pentacles with the Six of Swords, please and thank you for Scorpio's energy. Mm-hmm. In order to move towards something that's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability, you're going to have to leave something behind you. And that's why this isn't an easy decision. And you're called to, to be strategic at this time about how you're going to proceed. I do feel like you are headed in a positive direction. There's a lot of uncertainty at this time. Um, what I do recommend is maybe weighing the pros and cons in each scenario, okay? Uh, playing each tape out, walking down each path a little bit, seeing how you feel, how it resonates with your soul. Does it feel heavy? Does it feel light? Use your discernment, Scorpio. Um, I feel here you stand your ground. If you weigh out your pros and cons and are very strategic with how you proceed, you're going to win. Okay, you are going to win. So let's clarify really quickly this emperor. This strength card and this ace of wands feel like this new beginning the reason why you're kind of uncertain about it is because it may may seem mm, a little iffy but you're being called here to use your discernment when it comes to the situation you have free will so you're going to be able to say okay this aligns with my path where I see myself headed or no this isn't a good decision this isn't a good option I don't see this playing out very well okay again use your discernment I do feel here for a lot of you you're moving forward from some heavy energy Okay, for some of you, it's going to resonate as a toxic relationship, codependency. For some of you, this is going to resonate as maybe codependent behavior, addictive behaviors, patterns, something along those lines. 
so let's pull a different deck out here scorpio we're gonna take a little bit deeper look into this person's intentions see if they're pure see if they're true because for the most part here scorpio i feel like your person is showing up as very solid okay very grounded very stable the ten of pentacles is that long-term stability card i feel like coming together with this person is going to have you feeling very rewarded what is this scorpio's person's true intentions here moving forward five of swords the moon the six of pentacles i feel here your person feels like you're hiding things there's some things that you're hiding that they can't see that they don't know about and i feel here they're trying to gain this clarity on this they're trying they may have be asking questions already they could just be secretly looking into this but i feel here like your person is trying to gain clarity right now on them feeling like you're hiding something they may present themselves here as they're grounded as they're stable as they're solid that's a facade at this time okay from what i see scorpio um and this could for a lot of you just be them making sure that all their ducks are in a row right um that they're taken care of right that they're coming from a balanced place and and that they're making a sound decision that their judgment call is in order there may be a reconciliation with a person from your past okay that's going to help you through this career move that you're making okay you're needing to trust the trust that connection for some of you that may be difficult it's going to test it's going to test you it's going to test your patience um as long as it's not toxic as long as it's not if it starts making you feel heavy then you have to put yourself first i will say that every day of the week but i do feel here that this is something someone who's going to help you okay who's going to help you to um work things out financially for yourself also feel like this is a connection that that runs deep connection that runs deep so every experience can be seen as a learning experience but it takes time and perspective shift to be able to see it from that perspective not everybody is willing to take that leap I feel here, Scorpio, you're really open, okay? You're trying to open up to the possibilities here. How is this person feeling about Scorpio at this time? About Scorpio moving forward into February 2021? I feel like they see you as very guarded. And I see you as very guarded here, Scorpio. You're still withholding your energy trying to make a decision. And this person feels that withdrawn energy. Okay? Again, you're going to have to use your discernment. You're going to have to decide here, Scorpio, what's going to be best for you. 
Is this a person who you want to pursue? Is this is something that you want to pursue? A connection that you want to keep on your side? Uh, because they may be starting to withdraw here from you. If they continue to feel this withdrawn energy, they're going to reciprocate. Okay? So just ask yourself, is this a person who I want to keep around or not? If it is a person who you want to keep in your midst, then maybe opening up a little bit to them isn't going to hurt. Okay? What will the next steps be moving forward for Scorpio and this person? Please and thank you. What will the next steps be moving forward for Scorpio and this person? <laughs> there needs to have a shift that takes place, a shift in perspective. Right now, I feel like there's this independent energy that is coming from both of your guys' sides, okay? They're looking at you as very guarded. You're looking at them as, is this a positive option? Will this pan out in my favor, okay? Maybe even looking back on the past with a little bit of regret uncertainty not knowing i do feel like there is a deep connection here you're gonna have to decide and make a decision here and i do feel like you are going to choose that this is a person who's going to be a positive influence in your life i feel like you feel a deep connection they feel a deep connection um what i will say is this is coming out more of a friendly vibe even though for some of you this could be an ex-partner i recommend if you're working on some form of business some form of partnership dealing with money keep it on a business level for now okay i'm not discrediting the connection there's definitely a deep connection here but you're needing to use your discernment, Scorpio, in this connection, okay? So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice guidance moving forward. I am going to do an extended version to the reading, guys. In the extended, we're going to take a look and see if there's anything hidden. Let that come to the forefront. Take a look at what they truly want from this situation. What will their next move be? What will the outcome be if the advice is followed? And we will pull a few different oracle cards. If it's something you guys are interested in, the links are all below, guys, in the description box. Second link is to subscribe. All the links are below. Also, if you found this message has been helpful, resonating, Please give it a thumbs up all the love and support is very much appreciated it does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all amazing and here's what i see there's almost this energy of conflict and i feel like it's internally conflicted is this um a person who i can step up to can I step up to this plate? Can I fulfill their expectations? Okay. Um, I feel there is an energy of looking back on the past. For some of you, this is looking back on the past in relationships with regret, with sadness. For some of you, this is feeling a loss from your past financially. person that's being channeled here is stable is solid i also feel like they may have some insight that can help you financially but again scorpio use your discernment i do not feel like you guys are on that same vibration frequency yet to take this to any relationship connection so if this is an X, this reading, Page of Pentacles, is talking about keeping this at a friendly vibe for now. At least for the month of January. Focus on business. Control yourself. Control yourself sexually. So... 
Scorpio. <laughs> You're headed in a stable direction. You're headed in a positive direction. What I do see here is you are guarded. You're blocking romance out altogether. So you're going to need to open up because where this person is coming from on a relationship standpoint is this would be a person who's ready, ready for that next level of commitment, which I am getting a sense here, Scorpio, you're not quite there yet. So use your discernment. You don't want to ruin this connection, um, trying to rush it, rush things that you're not ready for. Just be open, be honest. Okay. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you bond, your bond deepens. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning into your life. Your past returns, goodness gracious Scorpio, trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. <laughs> Take it slow. Take it slow. Get to know one another again, right? Get to know one another on that deeper type of a level and build that trust back up. Get to know one another again, you know, build a solid foundation. If this is an ex, don't, don't look at this like it's your ex. Try to view this as it's like a new connection. As like your two brand new people coming together. So let's get your native spirit card for your soul journey message. Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. Thank you. You are all amazing. Owl medicine. This card talks about intuition, clairvoyance, deep insight. You know the truth. Trust your perception. The soul journey message that comes with this card is in a meditative state, imagine that you are shape shifting into an owl and that you are soaring silently through the night. Your ability to see even in the darkness is remarkable. This corresponds with your ability to perceive the truth, even in this murky situation. For a lot of you, this is going to be a person who you've been intuitively pulled to this whole time. Okay. You've probably know who this is being channeled to since the beginning of the message um but there's still a level of getting to know one another building that trust back up building that bond okay and letting go of any heavy energy that is no longer serving you scorpio so i have the four wisdom cards always do your best take action without expecting a reward do your best and take the action because you love it not because you expect a reward when you take action without expecting a reward you enjoy every action and you can even receive greater rewards than you imagined Take action without expectation. Beautiful, Scorpio. Beautiful. So, Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.